sparsely populated land near Carlsbad in New Mexico. The waste isolation pilot plant here is the only one of its kind in the United States. 600 meters underground lies more than 90,000 cubic meters of nuclear waste. The first batch was stored here in 1999 inside a special vessel that cost a million U.S. dollars. This has been tested by dropping it on a spike, burning it in jet fuel, and up to 16, 1,600 degrees and, and centigrade, and then putting it underwater to make sure that it would still be completely sealed. This plant not only receives nuclear waste from the U.S. military, instead of the over 100 civil nuclear power plants across the country. Many of them chose to pull the waste inside their power plants. Uh, terrorists could sabotage a spent fuel pool and cause a very uh, large release of radiation. And because in some, um, at some reactors, there's much more nuclear waste in the spent fuel pool than the, there's fuel in the reactor. So an attack on the spent fuel pool could be even more devastating. It's our, the responsibility of our generation to make sure that waste is disposed of safely. In February 2014, a radiation leak occurred at this plant. As a result, 22 workers were affected. The U.S. government then shut down the plant due to negligence. All of the procedures now have been reviewed and personnel now have to be competency-based trained. In other words, they can't just watch video and get signed off on for safety purposes. Everyone has to be able to demonstrate that they can actually do it. And, and we're humans, so humans make mistakes, but we try to, you know, we'd hope in the future that the training is, is so good that those mistakes would be very limited and they would be minor. The nuclear waste repository is resuming work after months-long safety pause. Now crews are working to install a temporary ventilation system and complete other recovery efforts. The plant is expected to resume operations by the end of this year. Gong Zhenmei, CCTV.